Aloha Soul Family, welcome back to the Infinite Cup. So we're gonna talk about meditation. It's Monday, getting back into the groove here with Meditation Mondays. I wanna talk to you guys about three meditation techniques that you can do without having to do like a sit down, you know, traditional meditation style. My name is Robert, I'm a certified Raja Yoga instructor. This all comes back to the path of meditation. All yoga is about meditation. The asana practice, you know, the stretching that you see here in the West, this has to do with us preparing for meditation. So that's step one, is really getting your body into a place where you can sit down to meditate. Uh, you don't have to do the traditional sit down, you know, meditation that I practice. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Ways that you can really get in tune with that higher self. Ways that you can activate this unlimited, infinite consciousness that is available to us right now on planet Earth, all right? So, first one that comes to mind is chanting on beads, just like this. Okay, this is what's known as a japa bag. Japa means chanting, means meditation, okay? This is japa meditation. So, what is in this bag is I have these prayer beads. These are very sacred, holy beads to me that I just love touching them, I love holding them. What you do is you have a very specific mantra that you use and you chant on one individual bead, just like this. Right, one at a time. There is 108 beads on here, so you get around the entire mala, and that is your meditation practice. You can do this while you're walking, you can do this you know, in the morning, whatever is the most easy, convenient time for you. That's when you need to get the Joppa bag out like this. I wear it on my wrist. I do a couple little flips like that, and you actually have a spot for your index finger to come through. And there you go, you're chanting on beads like this. So the Maha Mantra is the most profound mantra that is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is chanting the names of God. This is getting away from our physical self. Again, you are not this body. You are more than your thoughts. That's what meditation is all about. Getting in tune with your higher self. Getting in tune with this infinite reality. So, Japa meditation is by far the most uh, practical approach when it comes to meditation. Having this in a way that is resonating with you. That's what I want you guys to do. You don't have to do the traditional sit down meditation that I practice. Just get yourself some Japa beads. I'll have a few in the link of this video that you really can enjoy having this practice. All right, number two comes down to a single pointed focus meditation. You can do this with your eyes open. The most common one that comes to mind is staring at a candle flame, right? Again, the goal of meditation is to bring yourself into that single pointed focus. It's to bring your awareness of your thoughts and get rid of all those thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are not this body. You are so much more than what we can even comprehend. So take your time with this. This is a practice. This takes time to really figure out what works best for you. It doesn't have to be the traditional meditation that I practice. Get some Japa beads or get a candle, light that candle and just stare into it. That's literally all that you have to do. Recognize your thoughts. Stop being aware of your thoughts. You're gonna activate what's called the observer mode or the witness mode in what we call yoga. You are getting into that cosmic view where you can understand what's happening in your reality instead of being so reactive to life all the time, okay? The thoughts are there to help us. It's just when you get attached to them, you create that snowball effect and you're not gonna get anywhere in life. So, my third and final recommendation for anybody who doesn't wanna do a traditional sit-down meditation is to use a vehicle. Like, for example, watching a specific show, a movie, something visually aesthetic like nature is probably the best, okay? you Again, you're using the traditional method. All of the tools are there in each of these methods. So what you're gonna do is stare at a leaf, look in nature, go to a waterfall, go to the park, go to uh, an animal sanctuary. Find things in your life that are gonna create that awe, 
that glory, that like wisdom that you get when you are just inspired by nature. Think about what inspires you. For me, it's getting in tune with waterfalls, jumping off cliffs, having things that are you know exciting that really bring me back into the now. So that's what I would recommend is like think about your life. Think about how you can orchestrate your life. There's only 24 hours in the day. What can you do to bring you into that oneness, to bring you into the now? Because that's where the magic is. Everyone is life is simply missing out if you think that you're here for just Netflix if you think you're here you know to just work that nine-to-five job no you need to exit the matrix take that blue pill center yourself in the higher consciousness through these meditation techniques that I'm talking about every single person needs a spiritual practice needs something to get them out of their body get in tune with that cosmic self otherwise you're simply going to live a very shallow life and your soul is going to suffer we are spiritual beings having a human experience it's time to start acting like it thank you all for watching the video much love happy meditation infinite gratitude infinite prosperity goes out to every single one of you for being here much love if you want to sign up for the weekly coaching that we do uh, join the inner circle group links are going to be in the description below patreon members thank you so much thank you everybody who's been supporting the page i really appreciate everything i read all of your comments tell me what med meditation practice you do what are you into did i miss something is there a particular meditation practice that you like to do chanting what's your favorite mantra I would love to hear about that in the comment section below until next time guys much love